Unchecked. Each week we bring you the best in Sooner sports, and today we have one of the best in the nation. In this week's Five Minutes with John Moss, men's gymnastic coach Mark Williams, and gymnast Taki Abdullah Simmons join us for a live quick Q&A. Guys, welcome to the show. I, I you. botched your last name last time, and I'm sorry. It's, it's Simmons, not Smith. That was my fault. It's all right. All right, Coach, I'm going to start with you. With the success you've had with this program over the past few years, you know, you've won four championships in seven years. The, the question that comes to mind is how do you keep your squads from becoming a bit complacent? Is, is that a problem you find? I think every year is different, and uh, the chemistry of the team changes so much that, uh, you know, I really don't even think about championships until, like, the last month of the season, and then we focus on what we have to do to get better, and, you know, it's just worked out. So, uh, no, I haven't had any problem with complacency. Sometimes the athletes have to be pushed along motivationally, but otherwise... I'm usually pretty fired up. <laughs> all right, now, Taki, you just finished fifth at the Winter Cup in Las Vegas. You recorded top 25 finishes in all six events. So you seem to be a well-rounded gymnast. If, if you had to pinpoint, what would be your, your strength? What would be your best event? I have to say parallel bars. Normally, it comes pretty easy to me, so that's pretty – that's just – Right. for me. Okay, good. And, and coach, you know, talking about teams, you know, from a year to year basis, you know, you talked about dealing with the complacency, which really isn't an issue, but do you find that each team each year has a different personality, like the oh, team yeah. as a whole? Absolutely. You know, I'd, sometimes we have, I've had teams that don't have a lot of talent, but have a lot of heart and they train and train and they, they meet the goals just because they want it so badly. Um, really the last year's team had a tremendous amount of talent. Um, it was a matter of just getting them all on the floor and doing their job when they needed to. So uh, Taki's one of our more talented guys. It's just a matter of putting him in the right direction and letting him go. Now, Taki, speaking of the talent that's around you, what is it like to work with that talent day in, day out? I mean, guys like yourself, Jonathan Orton, I mean, you're all there. What is it like to work with that talented of gymnast day in, day out? Oh, it's the best atmosphere because, you know, we're all pushing each other and, you know, we all get better because you want to be at the same level as everyone on the team and we're all, you know, extremely talented. So it keeps everyone motivated in the gym. Now, Coach, looking at the competition in the Big 12 this season, in your opinion, what is your team going to have to do to win the Big 12, to win a Big 12 championship? Um, well, actually, we're part of, like, the Mountain Pacific right. Conference because we don't have enough teams in the Big 12. But, uh, you know, right now we've had some injuries, so we're trying to get over some of those. Um, we're trying to have those guys that have replaced the injured athletes to get a little more consistent. And, um, you know, Jonathan Taki, they've had a pretty rigorous schedule with the USA Gymnastics and Jonathan being at World Championships. So it's kind of just getting them peaking towards the end of the season, getting them more prepared for the, the last month in March. Now, Taki, personally, how do you plan to improve off of last season? You had a phenomenal end last year named All-American on the vault, the parallel balls, and the floor exercise. You know, personally, how do you want to improve on that? That's, that's a pretty good year last year. Oh, well, mainly just to stay healthy right now and stay in the present pace that we're at as a team because our coaches have a great system and just keep pushing along. And I know I'll finish up better than last year because I did mess up a little bit. Now, Coach, you did come off of a tough loss at Michigan. What do you think your team learned from that, being in that environment and just overall? What did you learn from well, that Well, Michigan's experience? good, you know, and right. I, I guess we may have taken them for granted a little bit because last year we just blew them out when they were here at home. Um, you know, we're going to have to get better throughout the season. There's a couple other good teams, and keep everybody healthy. Keep them motivated at the end of the season and uh, work within the system that we've proven has worked. Right. Now, I kind of got a question for both of you, Coach. Do, do you guys think about – Olympics at this point like when when does that start to cross your mind you know I know you're focused right now on the season that you're in but when does it start to creep into your mind you know thinking about the future oh, yeah. about Olympics? two years out is definitely a time to start making a push John Jonathan's already on the national team and has been at the world championships so he's certainly looking at that uh, Taki being fifth at the U.S. re-ranking meet in the all-around he he's also put himself in a position where he's going to have to move up a little bit but uh, has that opportunity and certainly if he wants to continue uh, beyond two, 2008, he might want to have that opportunity as well. Most definitely. And guys, this is a question for both of you. When you talk about the success you've had as a program, you know, with that success, is anything less than a national championship a kind of a, a bad season in your mind? I mean, do, do you need to get a national championship to have a successful season? I wouldn't say necessarily you have to get it. As long as we go to nationals and perform at our highest level, then we'd all be happy. You know, if we come up short, it happens. You know, you right. can't be number one every year. Well, you know, we have to go out there and perform, but, you know, the whole point is to go out there and hit all your sets. Well, guys, we appreciate you coming on the Sports Package. Good luck for the rest of the year, and we'll come out and support you. Great. We have a meet on Friday night. Have everybody come on out. Awesome. 7 o'clock at the Fieldhouse. Mention Mastics head coach Mark Williams and gymnast Taki Abdullah Simmons. Appreciate it, guys. No problem. Thank you. Thanks for being here. We're almost out of time, but before I leave, I'll bring you the 60-yard dash, the checkup with Dr. D, and my play of the week. 
It is all next right here on the Sports Package.